to another episode of Emulation on Android for Dummies. Today I'm going to show you how to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance on our phone. If you have missed all the basic knowledge from the last episode, you can find a link to it in the description box. I'll be using my old boy for GB and GBC emulation in this video, but if you don't want to pay or you don't want to use it, you can use RetroArt as well. I'm using these two emulators because they give me the best and the most stable performance among the others that I've ever used. Also, it allows remote multiplayer and cloud save, which are awesome. After opening the app, we will see an interface like this. The first thing we have to do is to find a directory where we store our ROMs. For anyone who doesn't know what a ROM is, it is basically the game file, but don't ask me where to find it. So here are some ROMs in my directory and you can simply click it to start playing it. But at this time point, you cannot use your controller. So um, I'm going to show you how to map your keys so that you don't have to use your touch screen to control the game. Also, you can download a BIOS if you want. In order to bind the keys, we go to settings and input and then we click it one by one for the D-pad and AB buttons. So it's pretty straightforward. You can follow what I'm doing here. And if you want, you can also map the keys for the menu or quick save to any buttons that are not used in game. You can follow the whole process I'm doing here in case you don't know how to do that. So now we should be good to go and let's uncheck the virtual keypad so that it doesn't block the screen because it's just for you to use the touch screen. So um, let's enter a game here. You can see the virtual pad is not there anymore and we can use our controller to play it now. Um, uh, so I have mapped my menu button to my R2, so when I press it, I can just simply go to the menu and click save or load, whatever I want. That's it for Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Let's move on to Game Boy Advance. Because these two apps are developed by the same company, so it gives you the same interface. So uh, similar to my old boy, in my boy, you just find your directory for your game folder as well. And you can also simply click, click into it to play. Uh, but uh, now let's look at how to map our keys just like we have done before. So pretty simple, huh? We do the same thing as we have done and my old boy so uh, there's nothing really new to add here you can simply follow my instruction here or you can you know map your own keys after mapping the keys we should be able to play it like we wanted it to so we can also use our joystick to play after learning the basics, let's take a look at something more advanced. So let's load up my Pokemon game and I'm going to show you how to use Link Remote Played. I mean like the multiplayer feature. If you're playing some games like Pokemon, you probably want to exchange or do some battle with your friends and you go to the hospital and then go to the place where you can link with the others. So in order to activate the multiplayer, you can use either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So with uh, the Bluetooth, either one of you will have to click the surfer and then the other one will have to click 
the client one in order to join the room and then when you use Wi-Fi you can play with people who are far from you so one of you will have to use the Wi-Fi server and you can find your IP address in the place where I put the subscribe button and the other person who is going to join will use link remote Wi-Fi client and then you have to put in the IP address that you have uh, from the other person if you're interested you can find my other video on GBA multiplayer uh, with Retro Pocket 2 in the description box below so that's it for this video and I'm going to talk about NDS emulation in the next part bye